we are always positive, we are uh, achieving, we are progressing. For young people, we are building from 50 to 90. This year, in food production, we are five times, we have increased. In horticulture production, 9.5 times. In short term production, 6.5 times. In fish, no lot of times. In milk, eight times. And in egg production, by 39 times. In what scenario, excepting for food production, in all other things, we are either second or third like that. And we are most emerging. And in population improvement also, we, are, we have troubled ourselves. So whatever you produce, no marketable surplus, everything we eat, everything is fine. But still there are a lot of uh, encouraging points. Of late, our public distribution system has lost this song. We are now thinking only of our food security and nutrition security. For our food security, our food grade production has almost self-sufficient. Along put together compounded food, oils and pulses, they are really good. But what's more, I want to emphasize this on vegetables. Since 1965, till last uh, number, I was more working on vegetables because I was working in the I was working in the private R and D efforts. They invest a lot of money on vegetable research. Our vegetable was not beginning in 1960 and 1960 started <coughs> And now the vegetable production has reached to 156 million tons. And whole horticulture production, including fruits and all other effects, you get 263 tons. So 305 tons in food grains total and 263 times in horticulture production dotting, almost horticulture production is increasing and it is really a very baffling to many of the developed countries how India could reach. Of course, food grade we made started our green revolution from post 60 and in vegetables it is only post 90. Believe it, if we are not, the so much of health policies has begun vegetable production and still we are get to address per production. <coughs> this is a long, long graph to get to show from 1950 to 19, uh, 2014 how we have progressed and by I have put it in next graph. Very important graph. You will find that the topmost line is food grade production and the next one is fruit production. Uh, but from 50 to 1980, we were importing, we were importing lot of uh, food grains. This is the graph, very important. And it has vanished, and now we are having lot of buffer stocks. And buffer stocks, the younger color, much I want. <laughs> this is our food import. So previously there is, if I am saying, our food to ship or ship to food uh, mount existence. But the very happiest thing is we are no more importing food grains for, on a, for, eat, for soul sustenance. But due to the increased production, we leave surplus and this is the estimate still has to come. So buffer stock leads to comfortable exports and Dr. Trubhavar will tell about how much imports we are making in respect of policy. Very happy scenario, is it not? And this much of happy scenario, others used to question, what about by year 2020? And yesterday there were at least two or three speakers were telling, by 2050 how we are going to thrive? Because our population will outbid our food production. But going by technical or statistical data, you can, this is the current level, and this is the level what we should reach. And the growth rate we need in cereals 1.9% versus 2% and food grain 2%, oil seeds of course 6%, vegetables only less than 1% and fruits 3%, so can milk, fish and egg. If you consider over a period of time, 1-2% to increase is not going to be a very big challenge. You will certainly be lacking and only thing is we produce more, we eat more, and we serve less. That is the main concept. 
But what is the reason for all these achievements? See, first is the state, best is the state. The modern language, seed is the genetic software, embodying genetic all kinds of genetic information with physical properties. But at the greatest point, then the younger gentleman, the yield reaches its maximum and then it is <coughs> there's a ceiling. The seed only puts the upper limit on the ceiling. Ignoring that, how whatever amount of nutrition you pump, whatever amount of water you feed, there is no use. So the important thing is seed is superior because seeds put upper limit to all the agricultural productivity of all the inputs. So seed is the face setter, seed is the real beginning asset, seed is the catalyst. So we have to we need to produce quality assured seed and make it possible still. Uh, and the entire seed source comes from 30 major crops, 90% of our food grain, seeds and food grain comes from 30 major crops and 170 minor crops. So out of nearly 150 crops, major crops are only 30. Rice, wheat, maize, wheat, 50% of the world needs. So how to produce the quality assured seeds? We are now not betting on the quality checking or quality monitoring. We assure the quality and we maintain the quality. So that should be the highest level of uh, commitment. And now, in a conventionally procedure, what happens is, after pre-release, the leaders release, and it need to be subjected to vigorous maintenance breeding, again following all uh, techniques of plant breeding. Then you consume the nucleus seed with 100% genetic purity, small quantity, then it becomes progenies of the nucleus seed, it's a breeder seed. And the breeder seed production, while doing that, we do individual family test, progeny test, individual plants, then laboratory test. Afterwards, the field is monitored by experts, and then field to grow out just to protect, uh, to perform genetic purity is uh, conducted. The field is EOT conducting is in a very favorable season, in very favorable field according to the current guidelines, you should have to conduct the field is EOT and many of the crops demand growing it up to flowering level, fruiting level because the breeder might have given the distinguishing key character in that one. If you know all those things, believe me you are not, I have had, I am for past one year making a uh, uh, Great survey of great seed production in different kinds of crops, seeds and program crop, and most of the crops, seed based origin crop, the funding say minimum 12 to 15 percent increase, always you will maintain if you provide it, if you follow the uh, 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 critical reading. And then every time progeny families are tested, based on the mean values and known standard error. For some of the traits, they said this to also. So, by all these things, you are, sure you are assuring the quality and our quality assurance. May, uh, in my discussion, I will tell it need to be still born of a one. A housewife goes and purchases nowadays flower, flower, raji flower or other thing, nicely packed. And it is written on that so much of carbohydrate, so much of protein, and so many other things, right? But so after so much of producing, taking pain, production, and dedicated efforts to achieve the quality, do we mention that? Oh, this is the seed purity, not only 100% germinability, all those things. Do we ever mention that my quality assured seed contains this much of protein? If you grow, you will get this much of uh, oil, all other things, we don't do that. That's why. We have to change ourselves. Uh, uh, there need not be a separate law and we will dedicate ourselves to add more and more color, value and flavor to the production. So, this is the pregnancy production scenario in India. It's always, uh, we will get confused in the, in the statistics. Every time, Breeder seed is given quoted as two tons and foundation uh, seeds in, in 1,000 tons and uh, certified seeds are other kinds of seeds in 
the depth of median value. So the seed outlook is there should be an increase in seed replacement ratio, variety replacement ratio, and seed multiplication ratio. This should be on seed on a higher scale, and seed should be supplied at the subsidized cost. And India is now doing only 500 million US dollars business, say, and it should jump up to 900 million dollars so that India achieves second rank. We can never achieve first rank or power from China. They are so much prepared. And seeds should be also produced for export. For export, we have those study, critically the US standards, standards of European standards, OECD. And we have some more conditions on that. And the seed quality, we immediately select in the variety, release a variety, we say it's a high protein variety or high QPTM or quality protein. But do we ever select the nucleus seeds or the uh, breeder seeds, breeder seed families, and finally conduct COT for uh, protein? No, only for mass right? So we, there is a need for emphasis for on seed quality for high protein minerals, vitamins, and so many other things. And for, to achieve this, far enough, our maintenance breeding, we should have a fresh look and we should be oriented for and the modern biology teachers use molecular tools for everything and increase our RT. So the Indian seed world, there are only 15,000 crores. We rank fifth in the world and quality seeds alone are accepted and gives farmers high disposable income and farmers involvement are involvement is that. But alas. In spite of all these things, our ordinary sector seed production is only half, 15 percent. Rest are all either non descript seeds or farmer to farmer exchange and goes by seed relays. And public sector all along calling for quality seeds, but it will be a low cost seed and high volume production, mostly grains, cereals, clothes, large chunks of clothing, material, and other things. Whereas private sectors are smart enough. So, do only low volume business like vegetables, but getting more income. That's, that's going to be there and it has drastically affected the Indian you scenario. Know, so, public sector, there is a public sector goes on doing more of seed production, 62 percent or more bulk material, quality assured but bulk material, whereas public sector has less volume. Let us look at how we are what. All of a sudden, great SCD has not come overnight. To so start with, 1925, the Royal Commission on Agriculture has advised us to hear everything starts with the Famine Commission. Famine Commission happened around 1848 1860. India was undergoing so much famine. And after that, uh, Britishers wanted to help. And in 19 25, there is a Royal Commission on Agriculture and they thought India should go for variety, variety schemes, they should go for seed support, then only we can come up. So in 1954, around the introduction of waste <coughs> improvement system, that was with the help of particular and coal quotation, and 1961-63, National Seed Corporation was established, and uh, the establishment of corporation, they have taken a bold step. It's a real bold step. We will grow vocation seed. This what is it? Oh. Everyone should grow a foundation seed. And from the foundation seed, uh, certified seed should be grown up. And 1966, they introduced and along with the seed act was passed, afterwards minimum seed standards were specified and then national seed project has come up, NSD 123, then we got considered to coordinate the project. 1988, around that new seed policy, it gave us a lot of uh, uh, global contact. And 1963, also foundation seed was produced, foundation seed and certified seed. After 
so many years in around 1982 84 only great thing was introduced so then it became instead of two generation like foundation seed and certificate seed in a generation system of breeder seed foundation and certificate seed has come and to support this nucleus seed was uh, considered as pre-existing and made in the mandate that's how this national seed project and the minimum uh, seed standards are acted afterwards from the of the plant variety protection act national seed is policy seed bill it is still is not clear and greatest achievement was in to start with all the greatest seed production and distribution was controlled at the national level then due to more increased breeding activity region specific varieties state varieties state were also given the option so this is how our seed business has grown up spectacular business there is no other thing excepting our population which is growth rate of 20 to 15 percent very 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 impressive one and all private players only for 38 percent and uh, if you consider cereals we produce 48 percent of the seed trade is cereals in cotton 15 percent in vegetables 12 percent and in others put together 23 percent and what is our seed replacement ratio is all 50 30 50 60 like that so in order to make more of the quality seed use we should accelerate the variety replacement rate and variety replacement rate is not picking up in india ideally speaking it is something clear but if you compare the seed and planting material seed means cereal or this will be cereal seed but the other on vegetable side it is abysmally poor it is uh, uh, also they are self sufficient their seed quality especially corn quality very much lacking so therefore dr a company was constituted under the leadership of dr kayal sada he is a very very uh, forward in hospitality uh 10th planning commission a work group was constituted dr kayal sada was the chairman then for the ninth or 10th he was the chairman the left by the year ending 1912 uh, the first five year planning commission again dr kayal sada the same recommendations he is making here after year and people are moving by millimeter by millimeter. not big so he constituted he has strongly recommended there should be a mother blocks for seed as well as stock uh, and the mass multiplication of the nursery or crop should be there and micro propagation should be equally and strong root stocks clones and bulbs that's all brought under seed certification standards nursery should be accredited there is a now starting two or three acts across the country nursery is act nursery should be licensed they should supply quality material spurious award spurious dollar but it's still not consistent but if you go to european countries even for seeding working has been standard so accredited nurseries and quality seeding are important and to supplement our efforts to introduce import of polyembryonic seeding or polyembryonic seed Ronal and the Bruce Town. So cluster of excellence of multi-cluster crops should be established because compared to cereals and field crops, really our is, is not as that much. So bread seed is we are assuring the quality by dedicated and efficient maintenance breeding, maintaining highest quality purity, hundred percent purity by properly avoiding. natural cross pollination to maintain by maintaining the isolation then do laboratory examination and will grow this so it's so far so good in spite of all these things uh, some bad sometimes some problems coming we have to try more with the idea of cure seed because once to produce highest quality of nucleus seed and the highest quality and purity of breeder seed down in the line seed production there will not be any mishap there will not be any problem 
by if the wrong quality gets in, partners will ask for us for documentation, they will buy it. They will come with